Hi, it's Julie with the Byron Public Library and I'm here today to go over your architecture project. So today's project, if you open up your kit, you're going to have some written instructions in there and you're going to have a photograph of a building. And that building is formerly part of the Pacific Design Center in California and it's nicknamed the Blue Whale because it's blue. Um, it was created by Norma Merrick Sklarlik. She was one of a um, very few early African-American female architects. So our project today is, dis is inspired by her design. Uh, you'll have a number of things in your kit, but first from home, uh, you'll need a paintbrush unless you requested that at registration. You'll want to get a pencil that is actually sharpened, school glue or a hot glue gun if you do do not have either of those and you requested glue at registration, I've included some school glue. If you own a hot glue gun, the project goes much more quickly using that because obviously that dries very quickly. However, it will work with school glue. You'll just have to be a little bit more patient and maybe take some time to uh, create this project. You might also want to get tape if you're using only school glue, tape or rubber bands, um, clay, Play-Doh, if you have any of that can help sort of let your building set until the glue dries. So those are the things that you'll need. And then to begin with, get all of your cardboard um, and your other materials out of your kit and maybe set them out. You'll have several pieces of cardboard that are is sort of in a square. You're gonna have some that are these smaller rectangular pieces, uh, a triangle. You'll have uh, toilet paper tubes, part of an egg carton, um, some caps, and I think some of you have ribbons or spools in there. So just lay all that out. That's what you're going to use to create your building. And the thing to remember is the building can pretty much be however you want it, but we're looking to do columns and layers to sort of emulate uh, that part of the the design and we're also going to want to put a curved piece in there and I'm going to show you how to do the curved piece with your cardboard in just a minute but to begin with I'm just going to show you you don't have to start this way I cut my tubes you'll want to cut them if you use them big you're not going to be able to have more than you'll just have a two-story building so you want to cut them in some manner uh, I started mine like this, and I just wanted to show you that this was created using only school glue. It's now completely dry, and it will stay together. You will not be able to do this immediately after you create it, so you're going to have to be patient and let your layers dry uh, before you keep building if you're only using school glue. If you're using hot glue gun, please be careful. It does, it can burn, and even with that, um, for these pieces, it's probably okay, but when you start putting your sides on, you're always going to want to hold it there for a little bit, even if you're using a hot glue gun, in order for it to dry. So let's just go over. I'm, you don't have to do yours this way. I'm just going to add another layer, if my glue isn't stuck together, with my cardboard. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set them down. And it can be very difficult to cut these evenly. It doesn't have to be exactly even, but before you start gluing, a good idea would be to sort of set your next layer on, and I can see mine isn't even. Um, and so then you can just maybe trim it a little bit more, like give it sort of like a, like it's a little haircut or something. Trim it a little and see where it's wobbling. Mine's still a little wobbly. This side is lower because it's moving that way. So this one is still too tall, perhaps. So I'm going to just try to trim it a little. It doesn't have to be perfect. It will still work. You just want most of the these to be touching so that your glue will stick. So mine's still a little bit crooked, but I don't mind that. Um, so now that I know that's going to work, I'm going to take that top off. And I'm just going to start lifting these up one at a time and making a circle on my, and maybe I didn't do it wide enough. That's the tricky part sometimes. It might be helpful to draw with a pencil around it, but you can just kind of add some more glue, okay? I'm gonna make circles. If, if you have a hot glue gun, it's gonna be very fast. So I can do this, I think, all right? Uh, to put this next layer on is a little tricky with your glue because your glue is going to start to fall off the top. But what I did is I just tried to make a nice 
line of glue on the top of these, even though it is going to start to drip off. So do that and then put your top on. And then now if you are using school glue, probably one layer is about all you're going to be able to do until you wait for it to dry because it's just going to start to fall apart if there's because they're not steady. So um, also what I found is like I put this roof on and I could sort of see where um, the circles were. And then I what I did if I'm using school glue is I'm adding a little more glue and that circle outline that I can see. And I'm going to, whoops, that moved when I lifted it up. I'm going to put that back on. So then you're going to have to wait. But I also want to just show you a few other things. So make some layers. You don't have to do it. Don't have to have four always. You can have some taller ones. You might be able to have just two, um, two in the middle. You could glue something down that way. And that's going to be really tricky. You're going to have to let that dry probably before you put on another layer. You could do something like that too. Use your imagination. Um, you have your egg carton. And the thing to note is that in, on some of the egg cartons, this part may be taller. So if I put this down like this, you can see it tilts. So one option would be maybe you like that. Maybe you want a tilted thing on the top. So you're going to glue one of the sides down. Um, or if you want it to be flat, you'll just take your scissors and cut this middle area down lower so it's the same as your sides, and then that will be flat on there. Or if you like the way it looks that way, you can also glue it down that way. Um, but I do want to show you how to create a curved piece of cardboard so you can add that to your design because that's one of the signature pieces. So what you'll want to do is take one of your more rectangular pieces of cardboard and you're going to want to look for the corrugation so on this piece you can see that you can see the cardboard you can see the corrugated side on this side you can't see anything on this piece of cardboard the corrugation runs this way okay so you'll want to find a side with that you can see the corrugated part then you want to take your pencil and you're just going to stick it in and kind of push up. And you're going to, you don't have to do it in every single one, but you're going to go along and sort of, so now you see it's starting to peel, right? So I'm starting to peel it. And then you might have to do it again to uh, get that off. It'll just depend on the cardboard. You can kind of just run your pencil along here and you're gonna keep peeling. So that will take a little bit of time, but just keep pushing that pencil along that ridge. And then you're just eventually gonna to wanna to peel all of that off so it looks like this. And once it's peeled off, then you can bend it very easily, okay? So make sure you do that with at least one piece to add that interesting curved element to your design. And then the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is when you begin putting your sides on, um, if you're using school glue, you're probably going to need something to help it set there until your glue dries because it's not going to stay perfectly flat. So if I wanted to glue this on, I'd sort of mark on the side where my line is, make my line of school glue. Then I want a line of school glue here. It's not going to stay. With a hot glue gun, It'll stay, but you need to hold it for a few minutes until that glue dries all the way. So what you should do if you're using school glue is maybe get some tape um, because then you can temporarily tape that in place once you glue it. Whoops, that fell over because I don't have my other piece of tape on yet. Okay, so that, just adjust your tape. So that will leave that tape on until it dries you might actually be able to just leave that on and never take it off because you can just paint right over it. So it's up to you. Definitely you need it um, until your glue dries when you're building the sides on. So then this could be kind of fun to do that like that. 
you could do all sorts of different ways or you could just curve it up more and put it there whatever you would like to do so go ahead and build uh, your own version of the blue whale it doesn't have to look like this at all it can be um, just try to incorporate try to use your egg carton make sure you use a curved piece use your tubes and make several different layers okay and then when that's finished and it's all dry you're going to want to paint it of course and of course we're painting it blue to uh, look like our blue whale so uh, you'll have a thing like this full of blue paint and you're just gonna paint everything blue all right and then I'd love for you to take a photo of, of your creation for me because I think these will look really neat and I hope you have a good time with it thank you